please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr., do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. Joseph Biden, now the President of the United you, States, gentlemen. Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States. We've seen stirring renditions of the U.S. National Anthem um, and many other tributes, and also the actual swearing in of Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, a complete change of guard in uh, the United States now. Um, let me just try and get in a quick couple of reactions now. Uh, let me go across to Ambassador Mira Shankar, Ambassador. Um, what does this really mean for countries outside the United States, this incredible change? Well, I think it's going to mean quite a change in terms of both the overall approach as well as the idiom uh, of policy making and interaction. Whereas the Trump presidency was, uh, you know, highly personalized in its decision making and uh, somewhat unpredictable, mercurial, uh, Biden is expected to restore traditional and institutional ways of policy making and reach out to countries across the world, particularly their traditional alliance partners, strategic partners, and seek to build coalitions. <coughs> he will be more My of a traditional a foreign policy person. But uh, initially, I think he's going to be consumed with meeting honor. the domestic the challenges which he confronts. And he has laid out four priorities for himself. Uh, one being, of course, the COVID pandemic and rolling out the vaccinations. He wants 100 million people to be vaccinated in the first 100 days. Uh, be uh, restoring uh, economic growth and revival, then uh, healing race relations, which have been...